Hello everyone. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the new lecture on medicinal chemistry. In this video lecture, I am going to discuss with you about the medicinal chemistry of thiazide diuretics. In this, we will discuss about the different thiazide diuretic, basic ring nucleus or basic chemical structure of different thiazide diuretic like chlorothiazide and hydrochlorothiazide. Besides this, we will also discuss about the chemical synthesis of Chlorothiazide. Thiazide diuretics. Thiazide is basically an organic molecule that contains the bicyclic rings in their chemical structure. So those organic compounds or organic molecule which have the two cyclic rings in which one of the ring have the sulfur and nitrogen atom adjacent to one another are known as the thiazide molecule. So all these diuretic which contain the thiazide ring in their chemical structure are basically known as thiazide diuretic. In the thiazide diuretics, benzothiazide is well known example. Benzothiazine is basically the thiazide diuretic that contain the benzene ring that is fused with the heterocyclic ring. That heterocyclic ring is basically the thiazide ring. So in this structure you may observe this is the chemical ring nucleus of the benzothiazine. In this you may observe that this benzene ring is fused with the thiazide ring. This benzene ring is fused with the thiazide ring and in this, this sulfur and nitrogen are the two heteroatoms and they are adjacent to the one another. So basically the main key point of the thiazide ring nucleus is that the heterocyclic ring have the two nitrogen atom and one sulfur atom and the nitrogen and sulfur are both adjacent to one another. How thiazide diuretics were discovered? Gas inhibitor or the carbonic anhydrase inhibitor is one of the well known examples of the diuretics. Chemically, the carbonic anhydrase inhibitor are the derivative of benzene disulfonamide compounds. So when the different derivative of gas inhibitors were made are being synthesized to get more efficacious a carbonic anhydrase inhibitor then a certain type of compound were being made that have the more diuretic activity like they are being made by the chloro and amino substitution so the benzene disulfonamide derivative that are basically the carbonic anhydrase inhibitor when the chloro and amino substitution were being made in their chemical structure a new type of new class of compounds uh, are being synthesized that have the weak carbonic anhydrase inhibitor activity but they have the high diuretic activity means the new class of compound that is being now made have the new mode of action of the diuretic activity that class of compound is basically the benzothiazide and these chlorothiazide or the thiazide diuretic were made by the acylation of the amino group. When the acylation of amino group is being made then an unexpected ring closure takes place. The ring closure results in the high diuretic activity that is independent of the carbonic anhydrase inhibitor. So they are basically the th thiazide diuretics are basically synthesized during the discovery phase of the different derivative of the carbonic anhydrase inhibitor by the substitution of chloro and amino groups in their ring and once the amino group is being acylated the ring closure occurs we will discuss uh, their structure in the upcoming slides Chlorothiazide. Chlorothiazide is basically one of the thiazide diuretic. The physical properties of chlorothiazide is it is a, a white crystalline powder. It is soluble in the dilute solution of alkali hydroxide 
are slightly soluble in water and alcohol and sparingly soluble in acetone. It is basically a prototype of the benzothiodiazine derivative. Now let's check out the chemical structure of the chlorothiazide. This is the chemical structure of chlorothiazide. The chemical name for the chlorothiazide is the 6-chloro-1-2-4-benzothiazine-7-sulfonamide-1-1-dioxide. So, to understand the chemical structure, you may observe that uh, first of all, you have to draw this benzene ring, then this thiazide ring nucleus. The thiazide is nothing but it is a heterocyclic ring that contains the two nitrogen atom and one sulfur atom. And among them, the sulfur and nitrogen are both adjacent to one another. The numbering of chlorothiazide or thiazide diuretic will be start from the sulfur atom. Sulfur atom will be number as 1 and the adjacent nitrogen will be number 2. So in this way, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and up to 8 carbon number we will give. So you may observe that at the first position we have this sulfone group at the first position and at the second position we have this ammonia and at fourth again nitrogen and at the sixth position we have this halogen atom that is the chlorine chlorine is basically the electron withdrawing group or the electronegative atom that is present at the sixth position and at the seventh position we have this sulfonamido group so on this basis, its chemical name will be the 6-chloro. This is the 6-chloro 1,2,4-benzothiazine. 1,2,4 is basically representing the presence of the heteroatom in the thiazide ring nucleus. And the 7th position, sulfonamide group and the 1,1-dioxide is this 1-sulfone group. So this is the chemical structure of the chlorothiazide. The uses are of chlorothiazide are it is used in the treatment of the edema are, and that is associated with the different disorders like congestive heart failure, renal failure and the hepatic disorder. Besides this, it is also used in the management of the hypertension and the edema that is related with the heart failure. For increasing the effectiveness of other antihypertensive drug means it is also used in the conjunctive therapy with the other antihypertensive drug. Synthesis of the chlorothiazide. Now let's check out how the chlorothiazide or the thiazide diuretic is being synthesized. In the first step, the sulfonyl chlorination of the 3-chloroaniline will occur by using the chlorosulfonic acid to produce the 4,6-sulfone chloride 3 chloroaniline So what is happening basically? The 3 chloroaniline is used as a starting material or the reactant. It is reacted with the chlorosulfonic acid. Once the 3 chloroaniline is reacted with the chlorosulfonic acid, then what is happening? The sulfonyl chlorination will occur. And the resultant product will be the 4,6-sulfonyl chloride 3-chloroaniline. Now in the next step, the 4,6-sulfonyl chloride 3-chloroaniline is reacted with the ammonia. So it is reacted with ammonia means amidation will occur. And the resultant product will be the 4,6-sulfonyl amido 3-chloroaniline. After that, the product of the second step that is the 4,6-sulfonyl amido 3-chloroaniline is being either reacted with the formamide to produce the chlorothiazide. So this was the general theoretical overview of the synthesis of the chlorothiazide. There are the different routes of the synthesis of the chlorothiazide but this one is the simple. So now let's check out the reaction mechanism that is occurring in the synthesis of the chlorothiazide. So this is the very first step and this is the chemical structure of the 3-chloroaniline. Aniline, you know that it is the type of the organic molecule that in which the ammonia group is directly bonded with the benzene. Clear? And once the aniline is being substituted at the third position with the chlorine, it will become the 3-chloroaniline. 
So this is the chemical structure of 3 chloroaniline when it is reacted with the chlorosulfonic acid. This is the uh, structure of chlorosulfonic acid. The resultant product will be the 3 chloroaniline 4 6 disulfonyl chloride. You may observe that this chlorosulfonic acid will cause the sulfonyl chlorination means at this position fourth and sixth position the 4 6 disulfonyl chloride will be substituted in the 3 chloroaniline and uh, by the removal of the water molecule in this overall reaction in the next step the amidation will occur how amidation will occur the ammonia is being reacted with this 3 chloroaniline 4 6 disulfonyl chloride and after that it will substitute the chlorine from this fourth and sixth position disulfonyl chloride and the resultant product will be the 4 6 sulfonyl amido 3 chloroaniline so this ammonia will now target the these sites this 4 6 disulfonyl chloride and now you may observe that in the resultant product that is the 4 6 sulfonyl amido 3 chloroaniline the chlorine is now being substituted with these ammonia and this is the product after that in the last step by heating of this 4 6 sulfonamido 3 chloroaniline with the formamide the resultant product will be the the resultant product will be the chlorothiazide and this is the chemical structure of the chlorothiazide in which we have obtained this thiazide the chlorothiazide structure so once it is uh, being reacted with the formamide then what is happening over here the ring closure will occur and uh, so on this chlorothiazide will be formed hydrochlorothiazide hydrochlorothiazide is an other example of the thiazide diuretic now let's check out what is the physical properties and the chemical name and chemical structure of hydrochlorothiazide the chemical name of hydrochlorothiazide is the 6 chloro 3 4 dihydro 2 h 1 2 4 benzothiazine 7 sulfonamide 1 1 dioxide we will observe in its chemical structure that there is a only one difference that is the 3 4 dihydro position synthesis of hydrochlorothiazide there are the different route for the synthesis of the hydrochlorothiazide like uh, one of it is can be all formed by the cyclization of 4 6 sulfonamido 3 chloroaniline by using para formaldehyde during which the simultaneous reduction of the double bond occur at the third and fourth number carbon so this is one of the route in which the cyclization of the ring of the 4 6 sulfonamido 3 chloroaniline will occur in which the para formaldehyde will be also used and uh, after that in this reaction the, basically what is happening reduction of double bond occur if you will go into the previous slide you can observe that the double bond is present in the chlorothiazide at the third and fourth number carbon but once it is going to be converted into hydrochlorothiazide the reduction of double bond will occur there is an other route that the drug is can be synthesized by the reduction of the double bond in the chlorothiazide by the formaldehyde this is the small this small change in the chemical structure which small change that is the reduction of carbon number three and fourth position double bond will result in the high potent or uh, the increase in the compound that will have the high diuretic activity in comparison to the chlorothiazide and uh, now this hydrochlorothiazide will have also the good pharmacokinetic properties and it can be used for the oral route in comparison to the chlorothiazide so this is the simplest route for the synthesis of the hydrochlorothiazide this is the chemical structure of the chlorothiazide in which it is being reacted with the formic acid or the formaldehyde this one is the formaldehyde and once it is going to react it with this formaldehyde it is going to be converted into the hydrochlorothiazide by the reduction of this third and fourth position double bond 
you may observe that in hydrochlorothiazide the only structural difference is the absence of this double bond at the third and fourth position and this slight difference will result in the highly potent diuretic or the diuretic that will have the high diuretic action and beside this uh, also have the improved pharmacokinetic properties improved oral absorption so this was all about the thiazide diuretic